Hey y'all, I wanted to share with you a um, free software out there that I've been using and enjoying and it is called Extract Now and I really like the way it works. I have here on my desktop a whole bunch of stuff I downloaded from the uh, Scrapping Cops website, um, henceforth why it says SC at uh, the front of each of these zip files. Now, um, if I were to unzip each one of these individually, it would take me quite a while to do that manually. And that's what's so great about this um, software. I already have it opened here, and I'm going to quickly review the settings with you. Um, you can have it um, always show on top, so you can see now it's on top of my other files. Um, you can uh, minimize it to the system tray where you can find it. I don't have it there because I don't use it. I don't download things enough to have it all the ways um, in my system tray. Um, on the startup, automatically extract archives and check for updates. Here's the, um, that's the general tab. Uh, oh, do turn off sounds. It does make some funky sounds. Oops, let's go back into the settings. I hit the apply button. Okay. The next tab over is the destination tab. This is what I think is really cool. Um, automatically extract and you can choose a folder if you want to automatically extract it to. I have mine set to this folder. Um, and then uh, there's extract archives into their own name folder. There's there's some other choices here but this is the one that I thought was really cool. That way no matter where I download things onto my computer I know after they're extracted they're all going to be off my desktop, all tidy, or, and uh, in the same folder. This next one is called Post Extraction, and this is what I thought was uh, the most cool. After it extracts, you can tell it to do different things with the zip file. I have it set to Recycle Archives. Now, I know various programs I used the word archives and it took me the longest time to get used to what that word means but it may basically means a zip file right here this is an archive file to a lot of the software programs that zip and unzip and um, so I have it set to recycle which means after it unzips it's going to go into the recycling bin and then I can go to this folder, check to make sure it unzipped OK, and if it didn't unzip OK, I can go restore it from the recycling bin. If I would choose delete instead, um, it would just delete it permanently and then I would not have any chance to restore it. But I love this because then it just immediately comes right off my desktop. Wham! You're going to get to watch it work here in um, just a moment. You can um, choose to have it open the destination folder when you're done. Uh, you close the program. Uh, you can also choose to move the archives, the zip folders, to any folder that you want. If you would rather have it um, be a safekeeping in another folder for a while till you checked out your uh, zips to make sure they're okay, uh, you could do that. Um, so many different things that you can do uh, with this program. The Explorer tab, not quite sure. I uh, think what this does is when you right click on one of these zip files, you're going to see that it has these things right here at the top. The Extract All, um, I'm not sure what the NQ means. The extract here though, that I like because I have mine set up to extract it and send it to that folder. However, I can override this simply by telling it to 
extract here with this right clicking feature and it would extract it right here onto my desktop or you know whatever folder um, you want it to be extracted to. Here is um, sending it to a specific folder if you wanted to do that. So it kind of uh, overrides uh, the uh, bulk features. Um, I don't really know what this one is so I'm actually going to get rid of it. You could associate this with one of the file types if you wanted to. Um, that is going to change this icon from this default Windows one to a um, extract now one and if I would double click on this it would use the extract now program and open it up with it rather than opening it up with the Windows program. I prefer to keep mine associated um, with the Windows uh, because it I've had problems with other software in the past so I'm just going to kind of leave it at that. I like to leave it uh, right where it is. And then here is some options. Um, when dragging and dropping files all archives will be searched for except if they match the below. So if you wanted to put some exceptions in there you could. But um, that's the settings. Uh, let's go ahead and unzip these and I'm going to show you how swift that works. Right now you can see my folder, my destination folder is empty. So all I'm going to do is drag these right in here and you can see they immediately begin extracting and disappearing off my desktop because I have it set to go and in fact I can just hold down with my mouse button and highlight all of these so they're all selected and drag them at once right over into here. You can see they're beginning to disappear and we have a list here and it's showing progress which one it's working on and which ones it needs to do yet and you watch them disappear over here as they're extracted if they're going to the recycle bin and the extracted one is going to my download folder those over there disappeared I still have to get rid of these you can see um, if I was doing this manually one by one um, it would take me a long time to do this is so cool so quick done now if I open up this download fo folder where I had it set for destination there they all are and uh, perfectly extracted and over here we are left with a list and um, this list is what the history is uh, there's everything I've extracted and you, I'm not going to go into all that you can play with that um, if you're done looking at this you can clear that set of jobs and um, I have mine set so it extracts as soon as I drop it in there there are some settings that if you just want to drop them all in there first and then select it and hit the extract button to make it start you could do that option too but as you can see really fast efficient tool and I hope uh, you learned a little bit about some uh, fun new things to try Thanks for listening.